we're doing very fresh, gorgeous skin, very natural, um, and then a little bit of a strong mouth. It's kind of a blackberry, black currant colour, but um, very strong in the middle, but it's kind of bleeding out to quite soft, quite matte, a bit like you've drunk some wine or you've drunk some black currant, had a little bit of a kiss, so it's all gone a bit smudgy. very simple hair at Chloe, it's a rough braid, uh, a very simple braid, so it's very 70s, very easy, there's no texture in the hair, so it's very clean, simplistic, but hopefully very, you know, Chloe. And the, hair, and the hair, so natural, so natural. young, so girly, clean, fresh, yeah. was a little bit inspired by when you enter an abandoned house and you go in and you see the shredded curtain and you see plated objects covered in dust and uh, this kind of haughtiness. It's fresh, it's young, it's kind of natural, natural look and it's you, can, you know you want to wear it after you've done the show, so it gives you a good feeling. There is a girl who's very familiar with her roots, very proud of them, but she doesn't care. And I think it's very bourgeois to indicate that you have aristocratic connections. So she doesn't care. She's much more above that, much more relaxed. Music, fantastic. Catwalk, fantastic. Clothes, fantastic. Everything, fantastic. It's all about relief and things you can touch with your fingers. This, this, that's why I didn't want anything to be flat. So the relief was always very important. Gonna be amazing show. That is actually inspired a lot from 50s couture. 
There's a beautiful, uh, I don't remember which season, there's a beautiful Jack Fat dress with mink embroidery. So I recreated that. Everybody here is so nice in the clothes. I mean, it's always nice to do a show with amazing clothes, and the show always ends up beautiful, so nice to be part of that. It's a little bit more feminine and flirty and lacy and French rather than kind of high tech and hard. I'm so I work very much in 3D, just because I wanted to be flowing, I wanted to react to movements. The Cloné was lovely, very pretty. Uh, fine, very chic and very sexy. The girl with beautiful in the clothes. A move is really uh, fresh, a lot of freshness, very, very fresh and uh, really good, fantastic. <laughs> You have the word no on some of the girls' faces because Richard and Rob were talking about almost a fashionable demonstration and no is a very fashionable word right now. We were also looking at the girls looking very strong and very individual. So we've got a couple of words on faces and strong sparkling eyes and rich glossy lips, red lips. Victor and Rolf this season we send a very strong message, it's no, it's like protest. I want to keep the, all of them looking the same, so I made this most amazing ponytail, super shiny, super glossy, super graphic, all the same because they are all together protesting in this fashion show. As you can see in here, you know, it's like their hairstyles that they come completely designed on shapes that they are immaculate. A bit of a protest, but in a glamorous way. Very strong and powerful woman, you know. <laughs>
it's a very sexy no. At least we think the word no is, uh, has a sexiness to it. Uh, when we started designing this uh, season, the word no just kept popping up because we're fashion designers and we, we love fashion and we're part of the fashion world, but also it's going very fast and there's so much. So maybe that's why we thought of the word no, but then we're creative, so we thought let's do something with, uh, with this word. It's nice to be a little glamorous, but it, I guess it has a statement. I was just understanding what it's all about right there. I guess some protests about fashion and, you know, what inspires you, dreaming on. We love the kind of woman who is uh, not necessarily pleasing others, who wants, just wants to please herself. So the no is also about that. And then the design process uh, also came about when we uh, said no to sewing, because a lot of the clothes are stapled together, like randomly and spontaneously, creating asymmetric uh, hem lines, um, very um, volumes that have a lot of contrast in them. There's also this maybe this more edgy and let's say activist side to us. I mean that's in a way also in our genes, and uh, that's what we wanted to transmit with this show. Also through the the shoes, you know, we wanted to have like shoes that uh, like boots that you could that were there for marching. It's a fun show, it's always nice and makeup and the clothes are really nice. So, uh, like a uh, nihilist fashion, let's say no to the merry-go-round. I, I thought it was great. I thought the Beijing Stadium bird's nest strappy shoes were fantastic. I thought the boots were amazing. It's kind of medieval futurism, like paint and leather wrap around Velcro boots, but I thought they were excellent. I thought the whole attitude was nice. No. 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 The staples became um well, they were like luxurious tables and they became a new embroidery, which we liked a lot. It's just really interesting and really like graphic, you know, everything is very intense. I mean, whether it's the jewelry or the makeup or the hair, I mean, there's some girls who have no written on their face and it's just like everything is really cool. I love it. things. I love the combination of colors, that red and that aubergine and, uh, and then the, you know they always have such a sense of humor. It's very very amusing. Their statement, no you know we can't take it anymore. It's all too much. One collection after another one. You know the pressure of life but I, they always, uh, they're sort of surrealistic. enjoy their shows if, if you know a fan or a critic but it's nice also when they make a collection you think people are going to wear and you know because sometimes it, their ideas are a bit improbable for the real world but today I thought it was very honest. Uh.
gorgeous dress. You know, the fabrics are just like so soft and, you know, silky and gorgeous. And very interesting details, like the clothes is kind of like staple. You should have a look at that, really interesting. Once we, um, let's say, embraced the no, it felt so liberating that, you know, it, it felt really creative and we started stapling in a very chaotic and direct way and these volumes just um, arise that surprised us and that we liked a lot. avant-garde and at the same time elegant, refined, uh, they make clothes beautifully and feminine and so it's always uh, a surprise and it's always original and, uh, and you know there's some beautiful things. Oh.